E. coli illness spreads as death toll continues to rise. On Thursday, June 16th, eight children in northern France between 18 months and eight years of age were found to be seriously ill from E. coli infections, and seven are still hospitalized with the potentially severe kidney ailment known as hemolytic uremic syndrome, or HUS. French officials said the infected children had eaten beef burgers from a German discount chain store in France, with the meat originating in animals slaughtered in France, the Netherlands, and Germany. On Friday, doctors said the children were in state condition, except for one two-year-old boy who has had to be placed in a medical coma with breathing assistance due to acute kidney failure and neurological damage. Two new cases were also being confirmed. Meanwhile, French health authorities ordered 10 tons of the beef burger patties to be recalled from supermarkets, saying that the rare strain of E. coli afflicting these children was not linked to the strain that caused Germany's deadly outbreak, which has now claimed at least 39 lives and infected more than 3,500 people in recent weeks, many with critical kidney disease. In the USA, 13 people in the states of Tennessee and Virginia have fallen ill to a strain of E. coli that official state is the same as one identified in a 1993 outbreak that killed four people who had consumed contaminated hamburger beef. Amidst current fears of further E. coli contamination, Russia has banned meat imports from 14 countries, including Germany, Belgium, Sweden, Spain, and the Netherlands. Iranian health officials have stated that they are fully prepared to report any E. coli cases, but do not anticipate problems as they do not import European vegetables and have already initiated preventive airport screening for travelers coming from Europe. Meanwhile, the European Union on Tuesday approved additional aid of 210 million euros to assist fruit and vegetable farmers with lost revenues during the initial E. coli outbreak. In sadness for the loss of precious lives, we thank all the health officials and personnel working to alleviate the suffering from this affliction, as well as the European Union for their aid. With heaven's mercy, may all such foodborne illnesses vanish as societies are protected by benevolent and compassionate living. Foreseeing this tragic event, Supreme Master Ching Hai had designed the Alternative Living Flyer some years ago and asked our association members to distribute it worldwide since. Alternative Living. Change your life, change your heart, change your diet. No more killing, be healthy and loving. Examples of nutritious, life-saving food, percentage by weight. Tofu from soya, 16% protein concentration. Gluten from flour, 70% protein concentration. Corn, 13% protein concentration. Rice, 8.6% protein concentration. Soybeans, kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils, etc. 10 to 35% protein concentration. Almonds, walnuts, cashews, hazelnuts, pine nuts, etc. 14 to 30 percent protein concentration. Pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, etc. 18 to 24 percent protein concentration. Concentrated multivitamin tablets or capsules are also a good source of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Fruits and vegetables are full of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants and contain high quality fiber for maintaining good health and a long life. The recommended daily allowance, 50 grams of protein, average adult. Calcium from vegetables is more absorbable than from cow's milk. To diminish the real threat of a worldwide pandemic from bird flu. To avoid the danger of mad cow disease, or BSE, and pig disease, or PMWS, etc to stop the continuing gruesome sacrifice of billions of our sweet domestic animals, marine life, and feathered friends daily. It's wise to change to a vegetarian diet for good. It's health. It's economy. It's ecology. It's compassion. It's peace. It's noble. For more information and free veg recipes, please refer to the websites listed below. al.godsdirectcontact.org www.vrg.org www.vegsource.com Or email to al.godsdirectcontact.org Music